Yata. Opo. Hmm. And ang um, prayer request ko. Sige. Ang prayer request ko naman, yung kagalingan ng mga may uh, sakit, si Jasmine, si Sister Rose, at lahat ng may mga uh, uh, sakit. Kagalingan po nilang lahat uh, para magkasama-sama na po kaming muli sa pihing <laughs> next week. <laughs> yun po. Yun po. Sige po. Sino pong tatawagin niyo po? Ah... Uh, Raymundo Family. Raymundo Family. Uh, good evening po sa, sa ating lahat. Um, uh, prayer request po, same kay Tita Josie. Um, healing po sa lahat ng may sakit. Uh, mm -hmm. Praise report. Uh, just um, thankful kay Lord sa, sa mga blessings na binigay po sa ating, mga, sa ating buhay. So, yun lang pa. Amen. Sinong next Raymundo Family? Ah, uh, katabi ko po si ah, Asan may katabi ko? Katabi ko si Ate Darren po. Ate Darren. Ate Dar, prayer request and praise report po. Hello po, good evening sa lahat. Um, praise report ko. Ah, uh, thankful po kay Lord dahil um eto po naka-attend po ako <laughs> kasi itong itong ano time na to parang nagpapakain talaga ako kay nat nata sa ano so so uh, thankful ako kay Lord na nakapag-attend po ako ng ano fast prayer and fasting at at saka yung praise report ko po ah uh, yung prayer request Uh, para sa mga bata kasi nag ano nag umpisa na yung class protection lang at saka uh, walang sakit lang sa kanila. Hindi sila madadapuan ng sakit. Ah uh, yun lang po. Okay. 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 Uh, Sino po tatawagin niya next? Next po, uh, sino yung wala? Hindi na. Marami pa po. Uh, okay. Tita Janet. Oh, yun. Tita Janet. Okay. Hello po. Magandang gabi. Hindi niyo po. Praise report. Uh, praise God. Kasi I guess onboarding na yung mga bata. They will be here tomorrow. God willing. Yay. And yay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lord, for they have a great vacation back home with the family and relatives. So it's indeed a magical moment to be with them. So yun lang po. Thank you. Okay. Tita Janet, sino po next? Sino po? po? Sino si isang nandiyan dyan? Hindi ko nakikita. Um, meron pa po sila Vince, Pastor Bong, Tita Fe. Ah, si Vince. Nandiyan si Vince. Okay, si Vince. Okay, Vince. <laughs> You're up. Vince is there. Oh. Hello. Sorry, I'm driving. That's uh, all. Uh, prayer report. Uh, <laughs> oh, prayer request first. Um, I pray. Oh, wait. I... Uh, my mom and dad to land safe. I think they just got on the plane earlier to mm -hmm. go to the Philippines, and I pray that they land safe. And then also, Nicole, as they go home, I think they're on the way home, too. Mm -hmm. And then, prayer report. Uh, uh, I'm just blessed to be here always and to see all you guys always. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Sweet. <laughs> Who do you? I'll, I'll call on somebody else so you don't have to call anyone. Um, let's do or let me just read the praise reports. Lang po, mahaba na ang chat. Um, praise report from Jaya and Derek. Masaya po ako na nakapag-start po kami ni Derek mag-devotion together sa wakas. Hehehe. 
cute. And <laughs> um, praise support from Ate Eileen. Kids are back to school. Woo! And then from Edder and Anjali, praise support. Healthy po kami lahat. Di nagkasakit si Adric before going back to school. Uh, prayer request from Jaya and Derek. Uh, Derek's evaluation and admission to nursing school to be smooth sailing and for Derek to pass his behind the wheel test on January 25th. Lastly, a new home for us soon. Amen. Ganda yan. Um, for Eder and, Eder. Eder and Anjali, uh, another praise support. Na-survive po wala ang coffee. Prayer request alam po ni Rachel. <laughs> okay. And then... Uh, Kuya Edder at the Angelis prayer request successful wedding, new and better paying job for her, and um, after wedding, God's will to have a better income and health and safety for everyone in her family and Edder's family. Okay, um, all right, let's go to do, 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 do. let's go to uh, Tita Rose, Tita Rose. Prayer request po. And praise you po. Sa inyong naharap. Ako po ang praise report po muna. Yung mga nagdaang holidays po. Eh, okay right. naman po. Masaya. Kaya lang po ang prayer request ko naman po. Lahat kami ay nagkasakit. Mm. So, nang Tuesday, ngayon po may sakit po ako kay dalawang bata. Pero mas worse po yung symptoms ko. So, hopefully po na gumaling. Buti na lang po at mas, wala na po akong lagnat. Sobrang taas po ng lagnat. Nasa 100.4 po. No, Saturday, kaya hindi po na pagpunyan. Amen. Ayan. Ah, uh, yun lang po. Ah, uh, complete uh, healing po. Ah, uh, I trust naman po na uh, pagagaling po tayo ng pagpunyan. Lahat po na Okay. Okay. Thank you po, Tita. Um, let me call on Ava. Prayer request and pray support. Hi. Um, good evening po. Um, praise report. Probably I just finished some of my college applications and I'm about to finish one more today yeah. and I survived work last week yay yeah. <laughs> um prayer request hopefully I get accepted in a good college where I'm destined to be sana hopefully yeah. and also um good grades because I have a test tomorrow and our semester is ending and um good health to family because it's getting cold na and Thank you. Ah, uh, sino gusto mong tawagin, Eva? Ah, uh, hindi mama. <laughs> mama daw. Mama Almira. <laughs> um, magandang gabi po. Actually po, andito si Almira sa harap ko. So ako daw magsasalita para sa kanya. Papasalamat. <laughs> Nagpapasalamat po kami na hanggang ngayon po uh, we're able to um live comfortably in a, despite of we're not having a job even both of us it's um we're still well blessed mm-hmm. and um we uh, we and all praises to the lord mm-hmm. yung prayer request naman po namin is just to huh it's just to protect our family to have good health and um uh, um harmony and peace to our family po and um, yun lang po sa amin amen Sino pong gusto niyong tawagin? Ah, hindi ko makita. Paano ito makita yung mga ano? Um, si, meron pa po tayong uh, Sister Rachel, Tita Fe, um, Allison, Jazelle. Ah, sige si uh, Giselle. Jazelle, okay. Madam Day Day. Good evening po. Um, praise report ko po. Kahit marami pong absent kahapon, naka 100 attendees po tayo. Praise the Lord. Amen. And praying po na maka-attend na lahat and also more souls for Jesus. And pray, 
prayer request ko naman po, mainly sa pag-aaral ko po, for my last semester na He will sustain me all throughout till I graduate po and also my journey after that po. Yan lang po. Amen. Sinong gusto mong tawagin Day Day? Si Ate Aileen po. Ate Aileen, ikaw na po daw. Baka listening lang si Ate Aileen. Maingay daw dito. <laughs> okay lang. Masayang ko muna ito yung praise report ni John. Uh, successful first day of teaching today. Yay! Professor John Marco. And prayer request. My finals for this week and complete healing for grandmother in the Philippines. Okay. Um, then let me call on Alison May. Miss Alison May. Good evening po. Good evening. Um, praise report ko po is na in um good rest. Nakapag good rest po kami. And lalo na po ako for the break. And then medyo excited po ako sa coming semester for some reason. <laughs> Another praise report po is um good thing po is nakalakad na po ulit si ma'am ng Maayos-ayos na po. Um, prayer request po is na continuous healing for mom. And then, same pa rin po about sa school ko sa first day. Na everything will go smoothly to start strong and finish strong. Yan po. Amen. Okay. Um, we have... Pastor Bird, Pastor Bird, prayer request and praise report po. Hello, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Thank God na it's our first day of prayer and fasting for this year. Uh, siguro, ano yung prayer request muna, no? Uh, kahit ano po. Ay, prayer, praise report. <laughs> Praise report na nandito tayong lahat and I'm happy to see everyone over here and we have a lot of attendance in our prayer and fasting. Mm -hmm. Sister Elby is not here. I believe she's still at work. Uh, salamat sa biyahe namin and I believe as well as Pastor Jet na there are people who are praying for us. And salamat din. Uh, while we are there, still our heart and mind ay nasa church where we are also praying for you for you and yung mga tumayo na mga bayani natin <laughs> even though they are unknown or faceless or nameless sabi nga God sees your uh, work and God will reward amen pagpalain tayo ng Panginoon the entire church and continue praying that the church will not only thrive or survive but we will grow not only in numbers, but spiritually to become mature and like disciples of Christ and reaching our community. Amen. So salamat po at ang praise report ko ay yun at yung pagstay namin doon, kahit na malamig sa Washington, hindi <laughs> lang namin nakita si Biden, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> President. <laughs> Uh, hindi ko rin na uh, nagsalita si Abraham Lincoln kasi nakaupo lang eh. <laughs> uh, tsaka maraming tao, hindi ko siya nalapitan. <laughs> anyway, malamig din doon. And it starts na sabi nila mag-snow and yet we, th we are thankful hindi nag-snow. But mm -hmm. I believe within this week, kasi sinabi sa, ano, sa forecast doon, and I believe even in New York right now, they're experiencing yung snow na makapal na para tingin ano. Mhm. Mm ah, uh, 'yun ang pasalamat namin at uh naulanan lang kami yung Saturday night I believe na umulan at wala kami mga payong puro mga ano lang buti na lang naka ano kami kasi malamig na makapal yung mga ano namin suot. Mm -hmm. 'Yun ang salamat ko sa Panginoon, iningatan kami at walang wala na mas serious na nagkasakit, syempre ubo lang or ano. Yung sipon, medyo malamig nga. 
And I thought na pagdating ko rito eh mainit. Na. Ako na pa man yung LA. Pagdating ko dito, malamig din pala. <laughs> yeah, salamat sa Panginoon na tayo iningatan. And as well, I pray na yung prayer request ko, all those who are traveling right now, marami yung mga nagtatravel out of state, out of the country. May God's traveling mercy be with them. Yun ang prayer ko. At na wag magkasakit, bawal magkasakit, lalong na sa Amerika. Yeah. Yeah, si Jasmine, eh, you are being taken good care of, lalong lalo na yung sa tabi mo talagang ayaw ka magkasakit niyan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, salamat sa pamilya natin, sa local nurse, and continue praying as well for Pastor Jeff as they return coming back home. Amen. Uh, yan lang po, maraming salamat at uh, God bless po. Thank you po, Pastor. Uh, let's go to... Uh, Tita Fe, Tita Fe Dumok. Prayer report and praise report po, Tita. Praise report. I thank God and praise Him for answered prayers and for keeping us from being sick, especially during this cold season. My prayer request is just is like the request of almost everybody, praying for one another, for God to keep us healthy during this wet season. Amen. Thank you, Tita. Um, let's go to Tita Rachel. Tita Rachel. Hello, Poz. Um, Prince Report. Um, successful po yung back to school. Excited naman yung dalawa. <laughs> um, going back to school. And then... Um, Prayer request, I think, ano, many to mention kasi I'm praying for everyone then yung mga may mga prayer request specifically. And then, the main prayer request, I think, for our family will be yung NTEX exam ko. So, I will go back, ano, reviewing for my NTEX exam. So, I know that God will give it in His perfect time. And according to his will. So, ayun. Yun ang yung family prayer request. Amen. Okay. Um, let's go to Pastor Bong. Pray support and prayer request. Uh, good evening sa inyo lahat. Um, praise report um, thank God sa um, service natin kagabi uh, kahapon bale um, sa um, mga nag uh, forward also sa, sa altar, altar call um, uh, maraming na thoughts and um, also yung kwan natin, yung fellowship natin sports, although malamig sa labas mm -hmm. um, uh, na kwan pa rin natin, nagawa pa rin natin ang fellowship dun sa malaking opisina. <laughs> Ay, kumpul kumpul And now, uh, oh, then you protect the <laughs> family, uh, family ko. And uh, protection sa akin, uh, last Saturday kasi, uh, nag-report ako sa work. Nasa bubong ako, nadulas ako sa bubong <laughs> ng building. Uh, thank God, uh, uh, walang, ang tawag dito, walang broken bones. So, uh, I thank God for that one. So, prayer request. Um, uh, mag -open, uh, forgot to open up a new business venture sa isamin, you know? And also, yung tulad sa iba, uh, protection, uh, healing sa mga kasama natin may sakit. Uh, ay lang po. Salamat. Amen. Okay, I think we got everybody. I think so. Okay, so let us begin. Share my screen. Okay. Okay. So, good evening. We just did our praise report and prayer request. And we will now go on to our devotion 
for tonight. And uh, before we begin, I'm going to open us up in prayer. Um, loving God, we thank you so much for this evening, Lord. We thank you that you have brought um, all of your uh, children into this uh, Zoom, Lord God. We thank you that you um, are sustaining us in this prayer and fasting, God. Uh, you May you speak to us tonight, Lord. May you challenge us tonight. Um, and may we grow deeper um, in your love uh, this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So um, what I have here is a quick uh, recap of types of fasting that people can be doing or are doing. Um, so there's uh, no meat, sweets, rice, etc. Something that um, you want to take out in your day, in, in your meals. Uh, there's a full fast um they so they only drink liquids only um for the full fast we we recommend talking to your doctors first before doing a full fast um and then there's uh, uh types of fasting of no multimedia so that's no tv phone internet social media um and the likes there's also something called the daniel fast where you only eat fruits and vegetables and then we have partial fasts where um, others will choose not to eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or will simply just eat one meal a day. Um, and there's other types of fasting. So um, throughout this week, um, the types of fasting that you're doing, that's, you know, that's between you and God. And um, it doesn't matter which type of fasting that you do. Uh, what matters is that um, the reason for fasting is so that it draws us closer to God because we're giving up things that we usually rely on every single day. And so when we give up all these things that we usually uh, rely on, we, we, we interchange that with um, talking to God more or being in community with God more um, so that it, it fills us in ways that uh, may not usually it allows us to give space so that we aren't as um, distracted from God's presence this week. So that's a quick recap of fasting. Um, and so for our devotion tonight, um, uh, I was doing my devotion this morning. And one thing that, that really came up as a theme was resting in God's love. And the verse that I saw was uh, Mark 6, verses 39 to 40. Now, it's very um, kind of, uh, it's like a very tiny part of this whole narrative about the time when Jesus feeds the, um, the 5,000. And we get here the story of, um, this is, this piece, this section of the verse is right after when Jesus um, receives the five loaves and two fishes. And what I loved about this is that um, there's this little verse that just says, then Jesus directed them to have all the people sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of hundreds and fifties. And it's such a small thing um, in the midst of a bigger story. Cause you know, the biggest, the, the theme of, of the story in the, um, the feeding of the 5,000 is the, the the fact that God always provides to us, even if it feels like it's impossible for God to provide for us because of the, I mean, how are you supposed to feed these hundreds of people when um, when you only have five loaves of bread and two fishes? So it seems so impossible. So even in the midst of something that seemed impossible, it was sweet that Jesus knows that we we need to be directed to sit down in on the on the, on the green grass and to to rest. Um, and I think it's really cool to read this passage because um, it reminds us the importance of resting, even in the bustle and the busyness of our schedule. Uh, since the the first week of I mean it's only been the second week of January, and it's already been so busy in all of our lives. So it, just imagine how much more busier it'll be after this week. 
And so it's important, I think, for us to really think about what it means to rest in God's presence and in God's love um, amidst the times where it may seem impossible or amidst times where it seems crazy and hectic. And a verse that just reminded me of how much um, no matter what happens in our daily lives or no matter how, whether it be small or big, there's nothing that can separate us from God's love. And from Romans 8, 38, 39, it says, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And I love this passage because it goes from, it goes from death to life, to heaven, to hell, to earth, to past, present, future, or anything. You know, it kind of covers the entirety of all four corners of the world that nothing in this world will ever separate us from God's love through Christ Jesus. And it's important for us to know that even in the moments of craziness and even in um, times where it's it's um, it's hard, that God's love is never far from us and that it's always so readily available through Christ. And we, we can only simply accept it and thank God for um, the goodness that Jesus has for our lives. And it's important to be reminded that in this season, um, it's really easy to get distracted by um, by everything that's happening. But I think it's good that we're doing prayer and fasting because it allows us to recenter our lives and recenter our focus and our vision of what we want this year to be and what we want um, of and what we want God of how what of how we want God to move in our lives this year. And so I was reading this poem and I thought it really um summarized the idea of resting in God's love well. And it says um Jesus when you so this is based on the Mark 6 verses 39 to 40 and it says Jesus when you spoke the crowd rested Speak now to me who are dis who are addicted to haste, for we have lost the pace of grace. May we listen, may we hear. Rest is a gift to receive, not a punishment to fear. Amen. So I think it's important to be reminded that um, resting is not a bad thing. Uh, and, you know, even if we feel like, oh, why I should be doing more things, I should be doing more things. Um, sometimes taking rest and taking your Sabbath seriously are very important things because it allows you to um, listen and to hear God's voice um, without all the distractions that the world is already bringing in. And that when you're arrested, it doesn't mean that you're being stagnant, but it, it's not a punishment that you should be afraid of, but it should be something that you welcome because this could be an opportunity for you to really see what God is moving and doing in your life. So with that, I have a couple, just two questions. Um, so number one, what is something that is preventing you from resting in God's love? And two, how do you want to rest in God's love? So that's something that's tailored to you, not um, that's specific to your own life. So let me call on... Aldrin and Jasmine, since kayo nung una lumabas sa, ano ko, sa video screen. Um, what is something that is preventing you from resting in God's love? Siguro yung ano, um, ano ba, distractions of this world, like social media, the news, um, mga negative news, like, what's going on with the world, yung sunod-sunod na earthquakes, and um, about the economy, and you know, business, you know, preventing us from rest. Say, we, we have to keep on moving, doing 
chores, work, taking care of the kids. Um, yung sunod, how do you want to rest in God's love? Something tailored to you. Sa akin kasi, I, I just listen to worship songs that I find rest in, ano, it, I find it relaxing just listening to praise and worship songs. Um, just, ano lang, and whenever we do our devotion every morning, it, it I find it, ano, refreshing every morning just to dig deeper into God's word, reflecting on it, and then we, we use tip theory in practice every day <laughs> how to apply it in our daily lives. So, yun, yun yung sa amin. Copy-paste po. Copy-paste. Sino po ang tatawagin niya? Um, si Lola Fe po. Lola Fe. Okay, Tita Fe. Okay. What is something that is preventing you from resting in God's love? I don't think I have... I have anything that prevents me from resting in his love because even when I do something, I have him in my heart. I I, I always, my spirit always connects to him even when I do something, writing, reading, or anything. My heart, my spirit is always connected to him in love and in thanksgiving. And how do you want to rest in God's love? something tailored to you you know i speak in tongues and when i speak in tongues i'm really refreshed and even when there's a problem i don't feel that and i it 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 by the holy spirit he always gives me or reminds me of the chorus that runs like uh let me go <laughs> Mm. And the things of this world will go strange, leading. And the things of this world will grow strange, leading in in the start of his glory and grace. No, the beginning is turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face, and the things of this earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Which means to say that there, there, there could be a problem, there's something that makes you worried or something that makes you unhappy, but those things will disappear. They will turn like nothing because of the love of God and uh, it's resting. We don't fret with the problems anymore. I don't fret, F-R-E-T, I don't fret anymore when there's a problem, when I come to Jesus or when there's something that worries me or there's something that I would like God to do for me immediately or something like that because um uh, my connection to the Lord, praising Him and thanking Him for His love, makes those things. I don't feel any more those things because I'm filled with the love of God. There's nothing of that kind that comes to my heart because my heart is filled with the joy of the Lord. Yon lang po. Amen. Thank you, Paul. Um, I'll just call on the next person. Ay. 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 Okay. Um, let me call on Giselle. Hello, po. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Um, for me naman po, something that is preventing me from resting in God's love is being too preoccupied of unnecessary things. Yun nga po, like social media. Now, that part po siya ng fasting ko, I realized na wow, parang yun time na yun. Sana napunta na lang sa quiet time with God and other fruitful things. And how do I want to rest in God's love? Um, 
for me po, resting in God's love is beyond physical rest kasi we can still we can be still po or walang ginagawa but our hearts and minds are not at rest and on the other side naman po we can be busy um living our life and going to our normal days but have a rested heart so that's my goal po well magiging busy po ako soon i just want to surrender all my worries to him and just um just allow him to lead me and just prioritize him kasi everything will follow naman po if we focus on him so yun lang po amen uh who do you want to call on next Ate Rachel po. Ate Rachel. Um, thank you, Ate Joselle. <laughs> I think it's the same thing. Yung social media din. <clears throat> and then, maybe sometimes yung, ano, yung business natin, lalo na kapag, ano, ano nanay ka na ganun. So, parang maraming distractions, ganun. But, um, but we, we should be making time for the Lord and resting in Him, kahit ano pa yung business natin. So, ayun. Um, how do you want to rest in God's love? Um, I think yung rest for us um, will be yung Saturday and Sunday. Kasi parang wala ka nang iniisip kundi yung talagang ministry mo lang kay Lord. So, ayun yun yung ano gusto namin talaga as a family that the yung weekend namin is free for God's ministries and your serving him Amen. Amen Sino po ang next? Ang next po dito ay um ano Eva Eva for ano po, yung una po, I think pinaka nagpre-prevent po from resting is like the other responsibilities na um, kailangan natin gawin in life, not just like school, but you work. Parang masyado po madaming kailangan gawin na nakakalimutan natin to give time for God and for ourselves as well. And how do you want to rest in God's love? I think the best way to rest, not just uh, physically, is um, spending time in somewhere, you know, you'll be happy and appreciate God's work more, like going outside, um, doing stuff with the people you love. I think when you're happy and when you see God's work making you happy as well, parang you can see how um, good God is, you know. Amen. Thank you, Eva. Um, from Eileen and Daniel, num- uh, distractions, daily routines, sometimes fear of the unknown in the future. Oh, that's a real one. I think that's, I think everybody can relate that to that, that sometimes not knowing what's going to happen is a big distraction from um, resting in God, especially when we want to know what happens. And number two, praying to God during my quiet time whenever and whatever wherever that may be during the day. Reflecting on the things that he has done in my fa- my life and my families. Amen. And then from John, um, I think I tend to get easily distracted from social media and seek validation from others rather than fully seeking God's love. Mm. And I want to rest in God's love by making time for my daily devotions and praying constantly to have a deeper relationship with God, I also want to be more appreciative of His blessings and provisions each ev- provisions every single day. And then, Ether and Anjali says, uh, being a busy parent, current events in the world, worrying about not having a job right now and unemployment money doesn't last forever. But still blessed for everything that God provides us with. Amen. Okay, and number two, when I do my daily devotions, I feel well-rested. And every time I pray and ask for his help, I feel a sense of relief. Mm. Okay, let me call on Atedar. Hello po. Uh, for me po, um, 
of course, as Christians, we cannot deny na we still we have difficulties, mga problems na uh, nangyayari at ating na-experience. No? For example, um, mga bigla ang problema when it comes financial, uh, ganyan, tsaka mga worries na ina-anticipate mo minsan. No? Mga ganyan. Pero um, thankful lang tayo as Christians kasi uh, marunong tayo, kumbaga marunong tayo uh, kung paano natin i-handle yung mga ganyang bagay. So sometimes yun yun, yun, yun ang nagpa-prevent sa atin uh, from resting in God's love. Um, tsaka how do you want to rest in God's love? For me siguro ano, surrendering to God and relying on His Word. Uh, kung saan nandun yung mga promises niya na hindi tayo pababayaan ng Panginoon and He's always with us. Yun lang po. Amen. Um, let me call on Raimundo family. Uh, po. So, uh, what is something that pre- is preventing you from resting in God's love? So, uh, kagatulad din ng mga nabanggit kanina yung um, distractions and also yung um, business sa buhay. Yung tipong kailangan natin mag-work every single day para mabuhay. And, um, ayun, parang it gives us parang um, something, uh, through despair and passing, this gives us opportunity na parang kung kaya natin i- pasok din yung time with God and parang reset din na parang so hopefully may 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 time may ma, magpag-spend time tayo kay God kasi kung mayroon tayong daily routine yung papasok natin yung um ating prayer um ating time with God dun sa ating daily routine and then how do you want to rest in God's love siguro sa akin medyo kakaiba kasi um usually like when there's a difficult problem na naranas ako sa akin buhay parang hindi ko siya, I mean, hindi ko hindi ako ka agad eh. So, I think, parang, I think, what I, I, I'm trying to do now is, every time there's a difficult problem sa buhay, I pray. And then, kasi every time I pray, I, I mean, sa lahat, every time we pray for something, like, for example, may problema, after after you pray, you feel um relaxed, you feel like, uh, parang may ginhawa, ganun, in a way na parang, um, hindi tayo papabayaan ni Lord and, and that yung kumbaga parang guman in a way konti yung yung ating dinadalang bigat na problema sa buhay. So, ayun lang pa. Amen. Um, let's do uh, Tita Rose. Kapitbahay. Sa akin po, yung question number one po, uh, what is something that is uh, preventing you from resting in God's love? Ako po, uh, number one po talagang nakaka, kumbaga sa akin, sa sobrang busy po ng trabaho ko, long hours of work po. Um, but I tried my best po naman kahit na nasa work na makajoin kahit sa Zoom, Zoom prayer, sa prayer, Zoom gathering po natin kahit po minsan, listening lang po. Um, I tried my best po. May alam po, syempre po, iba pa rin po yung walang distraction talaga. Yung complete yung concentration nyo po. Uh, isa pa rin po yung mga worries natin sa buhay. Lalo po tayo, lalo sa ngayon na mataas po inflation, syempre po, nag na rin po tayo sa mga bills. Kaya, minsan po, napipilitan po tayong mag, mag-overload sa trabaho po. And uh, sa number two question naman po, how do you want to rest in God's love? Uh, usually po noon, may time po ako mag-hike. Uh, that, uh, I call it uh, time alone ko po yun. Pero ginagamit ko po yun dati sa time po na makipag one-on-one sa Panginoon. Dahil mas nare-relax po ako. Kumbaga... Ayun uh, po ang pinaka, meron po akong favorite place na pinupuntahan na uh, ako po ay madalas doon po nakikipag one-on-one sa Panginoon. Uh, ginagawa ko pa rin pa naman po rin yun, paminsan-minsan, pero hindi na lang po doon sa favorite place ko po. Minsan po pag nag-drive ako sa work, 
team ko or pauwi po ako sa work, saan po ako nakikipag one-on-one sa Panginoon natin. Uh, yun lang po ang sana magawa ko pa po, mas magawa ko pa po at makapagbigay po ako ng oras sa kanya. At para sa sarili ko rin po kasi napapagod na rin po yung, siyempre po, tao lang po tayo napapagod na po tayo sa pagtatrabaho. Yun lang po. Amen. Um, Vince said, I think uh, I also get easily distracted with social media and I get too busy with work that sometimes I just forget to just thank God for everything he's done for me and provided me with. And he says, I want to rest in God's love by just taking more time out of my day, even just five minutes to thank God for everything he's done for me and make for and make time to understand his word and get closer to him. Amen. Okay, uh, is Ben Sean family able to to talk? Na? Hello, ngayon. I'll call somebody else. Uh, let's do Brother Shane and Sister Amira. Hello. Um, good evening again. Um. Something that is preventing us from resting in God's love is uh, the worries of of the world's ways. Like sometimes we're lack of time management. We work too hard. We spend our time to uh, work and make more money in order for us to be in in the world. But sometimes we're too worried about what people will say about us. And then we have problems later on because we keep on forgetting of taking time off to spend time with the Lord. Well, in fact, we become selfish and we forget that the most important thing we should do is just to satisfy the Lord, not not the world or not other people. So how do you want to rest in God's love? Um, like what I do is... Like um, I we listen to um, praise songs because I believe uh, listening to praise songs is is a form of worship and and I believe that listening to music is twice as praying. I don't know if it was mentioned in in the Bible, but I believe that you know because once music goes in, um, um affect your emotions, affect your whole body, and if you listen to music and if you sing. God's word, it you become like God, then you you're becoming holy and holier uh, each day. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Um, let's do uh Alison May. What is something that is preventing? I think something that is preventing me from resting in God's love one of it is um exposing myself to redundant form of entertainment such as games and probably one would be negative um thinking such as overthinking getting ahead of myself how do you want to rest in God um I would want to rest in God's love just like how I try to do Every day is by keep on praying and rebuking um, possible negative feelings that I'm um, feeling or if I'm receiving something that is not from God. And then I am also preventing for this fasting is um, me playing video games, digital gaming. And I tried to start it um no Saturday just to prepare myself for this week. Para hindi ako mabigla. And so and another one is I've been mentioning this every ano naman, I think prayer meeting is that um one of my ways is really worshiping. Um it's through music, um listening to praise and worship of Hillsong or other um Christian musicians. Um, creating music for the Lord and for His glory. And I think um, what helps me as well is daily devotions. Um, it helps me whenever I wake up, and that helps me rest in the Lord very well. That's all. Thank you. 
Amen. <laughs> Sorry po, si Derek po yung Benson family. Ang answer po nila Jay and Derek, ako po uh, madalas po ako mamoblema ng mga bagay na hindi naman po dapat. And madalas na papangunahan po ang Diyos sa mga plano na sa amin. Sa tingin ko po nakakatulong ako sa akin ngayon na magtiwala sa Diyos ay yung daily devotions po na inumpisamhan namin as New Year's resolution. Sobrang refreshing na makapagdasal ng matai mataimtim at bukal sa puso. Ano ba yan? Nahihirapan ako mag-Tagalog. <laughs> Hirap pala magbasa ng Tagalog-Tagalog straight. <laughs> si Derek lang po yan. Sum... Sumatutal char-char. Okay. Ano ba yan? <laughs> Yung Tagalog. Kailangan pala magbasa ako ng mga Tagalog para... Bumalik ng aking Tagalog skills. Okay, thank you po. Um, <laughs> let's call on Tita Janet. Tita Janet. Hello, magandang gabi po. So, what is something that is preventing you from resting in God's love? So, sometimes my mind tends to wonder. <laughs> Kung baga, nawawala-wala. And so, how do you want to rest in God's love? Is to just really have that discipline to focus the mga promises ni Lord. That's how sometimes yun nga, nawawala yung mga nakakalimutan mo kung ano yung mga nakakalimutan ko yung mga promises niya. But to really rest in God's love is to really have that habit of memorizing, you know, meditating on His Word. So, yun lang. Salamat po. Amen. Um, can I call on uh, Dudes and Janine? Dudes and Janine. Wow. <laughs> Are you able to, to speak? It's okay if it's not able. Um, we can call on Pastor Bong. Uh, magandang gabi uli sa inyo. Sa akin, ano, um, what is something that's preventing you from resting in God's love? Sa akin yung uh, worry, saka yung overwork. So, uh, it creates uh, stress ba sa akin? Um, yung time ko sa family, halos wala na dahil nga sa trabaho, sige na sige, morning to, till evening, even Saturday. Uh, so, Ayun ang kwan ko. Dilemma ko. Pero, how do you want to rest in God's love? Sa akin, ano, pagkakuan, uh, I just listen to gospel music pag nag-drive pa uwi or papasok and um, claim sa mga uh, sa promises ba sa salta ng Diyos na He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And that He's always with you. Ayun ang kwan ko. Ayun lang po. Salamat po ng marami. Amen. Um, let's go to Pastor Bird. Gandang gabi po. Okay, rest in God's love. Amen. Uh, what is something that is preventing you and me from resting in God's love? Well, maybe once we focus our attention or our eyes into our surroundings or the things that are happening surrounds us or problems or worries, you know. Sometimes once you deviate or your eyes from the Lord, sabi nga sa Hebrews 12, fix your eyes upon Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Kapag natanggal yun, I believe that is the thing na can prevent us from resting in God's love instead of enjoying His presence, basking in His uh, abundant grace and His love. Eh, nawawala yun kasi we focus on other things that get our attention. So, yun po yun. And how do you want to rest in God's love? Something tailored to you. Well, yun po nga, of course, yung uh, when God speaks to you, 
And I believe through the word of God, no? Yun nga yung inumpisan ko na yung for the whole year, yung naka-schedule na yung mga binabasa ko. I started Genesis. I'm already in Genesis 12 or 13. And I hope and pray na I will keep focus and yun nga na goes through this, you know, uh, reading God's word and others like uh, yung mga iba sabi nila uh, hearing uh, music or praise and worship song it makes you rest in God's presence I believe na nakakatulong yun and of course yung uh, daily and uh, quiet time with God na quality time yung devotion mo. I believe that's one way you can rest in God's love and in His presence so sa akin yun ang ginagawa ko na uh, reading God's word and talking to him and everything that you do you always try to consult him and I believe God will uh, do the rest the things that you cannot control no? uh, yun ang magandang ano ko na I believe na sa, sa atin lahat na once you cannot control the things that beyond your beyond your strength or capability Yes, rest in God. Amen. At yun ay maranasan mo yung pag-ibig ng Panginoon. Yun lang po. Thank you very much and God bless. Good night. Ay, good night. Good evening po. Pinatapos <laughs> 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 na ni Pastor Thank Bert you. yung meeting. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you po, Pastor. <laughs> um, uh, t- uh, did, did Tita Josie go yet? I don't remember. Hindi pa po. Hindi pa Ayun, po. Tita Hindi pa po. <laughs> Ayun niya, what is something that is preventing uh, from resting in God's love? Yun nga, yung sa mga nanay, yung sobrang busy. Kuminsan na uh, hati na yung oras. Imbis sa Panginoon eh, sa mga trabaho. <laughs> Yun. Uh, doon naman sa how do you want to rest in God's love? Uh, always pray. Kahit anong ginagawa. Lagi nasa isip pang Panginoon. Ilan po? Amen. Um, Tita Vilma, are you able to to speak po? Magandang gabi po. Yeah. Uh, sa akin naman po, ganun, kasi wala naman akong work sa labas eh. So dito sa loob ng bahay, everyday, pag gising sa umaga iniisip na ko ano yung uunahin gawin kaya minsan yung dapat na unahin mo na magpray minsan na nauuna pa yung pupunta agad ako sa kusina ganun then yung pangalawa naman so hindi ko naman nakakalimutang magdasal lagi ko yung sinasama sa bago ako matulog then pag umaalis ng bahay Tsaka ngayon nak, uh, nakikinig din ako ng mga praise and worship song. Yun lang. At tsaka yung para rin sa family yung pag-iingat. Thank you. Amen. Um, I think I got, I got everybody. I think that's it, everybody. Okay. So... Let us begin our prayer portion. Um, so I'll be I'll be doing the prayer request, and then after this, we'll have popcorn prayer. Um, so everybody can can join in in prayer, and then Pastor Bert, if you could close us in benediction, po after that would be great. So I will begin. Ah, uh, okay. Gracious God, we thank you so much for this night, Lord. We thank you that um that you are a God who calls us to rest and you give us rest in the midst of all the crazy things that's happening, God. We thank you because even if we sometimes forget you, Lord, um, you you continue to to reach out for us, God. And um we apologize for the ways that we have sinned, for the ways that we have forgotten you in our busyness. And we thank you that you continue to to love us despite all of that. 
Uh, we lift up each of these prayers, Lord God, to you tonight. Um, we pray for Sister Jasmine's lower back and left leg, Lord, for healing, that you would just take away the pain that she is feeling right now, God. Um, I pray that you would give her complete healing and that she would be able to to walk again and to be function, Lord. Take away all the pain that she is feeling right now, God. Um, I pray for um, healing for Sister Rose and the rest of the Acosta family, God, who are sick right now, God. I pray that you would um, take away any congestion or headaches or any fevers, God, and you would just um, give them healing, Lord, so they'd be able to go back to the school. Um, I pray that even in their sickness, that they would find rest in you, that in this um, abrupt and uh, interruption, that you would give them rest um, so that they can hear you and see you clearer, God, in, in the midst of this sickness, God. And uh, I pray for uh, protection of all the kids in their church, Lord, um, as they go back to school. Um, it's It's been really cold lately, Lord, and I pray that you would just keep them um, warm and safe and healthy. We pray for um, a safe landing for Sister Analu and Brother Mark in the Philippines, God, that you would guide the pilots, Lord, um, and it would be a safe flight. And for the safe landing of... Um, Nicole and Janelle, Lord, that you would keep them safe, that you would um, keep the hands of the pilots steady, Lord God, and that everything would go well um, when they come back here to America, Lord. Uh, we pray for De Derek's evaluation and admission to his nursing school, that it would be smooth sailing and that Derek would pass his behind the wheel test. Um, we pray that you would give him presence of mind, that you would allow him to, to meet a good instructor, um, and that you would give him um, safety as he drives. Uh, we pray for Edder and Anjali for a successful wedding, um, and uh, we pray that you would um, provide Anjali uh, a better paying job after the wedding, um, and that you would continue to um, bless them and provide for their family, Lord. Um, they're seeking you very um, deeply and intimately. So I, I know that you you see them and that you're working towards something good um, in this season. Even if it doesn't seem obvious right now, I know that you are doing something really good. Um, and health and safety for everyone and their family and Edder's family, God, I pray that you would keep them safe. Um, Lord, I pray for Ava to get accepted to a good university, Lord, um, wherever you may lead her, God. Uh, I just pray that wherever she gets accepted in and that whatever, wherever school she decides to go to, God, that you would meet her there, God, and you would challenge her and grow her, Lord, that you would give her an opportunity to, to meet you deeper. Um, and I pray for her good grades as the school year ends. Um, and for the health of their family, God, Lord, I, I lift a prayer for um, for new housing in LA for for myself, Lord, that you would um, provide a safe and affordable housing. And I pray for um, John, Lord, for his finals this week, that you would um, just uh, give him the focus, and you would allow. Um, um, rest in his life, God, that um, as he is preparing for these finals, that you would just um, sustain him in this season, God. And I pray for um, complete healing for his grandmother in the Philippines, God. I pray that you would cover her and that you would um, give her good health, Lord Jesus, and that uh, whatever pain she may be feeling, Lord, that it will be taken away, Lord. Um, I pray for Giselle for her, her last semester and um, and for wisdom and discernment for her post-grad, God. I know that you're a God who, who sees your children and knows your children well and that you are uh, a God that provides. And so I just pray that you would continue to provide for Giselle's life and um, that you would give her discernment and wisdom um, even after graduation. And I pray for Allison that she would um, begin and finish the semester well, that you would sustain her, that you would give her the wisdom um, to go to school and to, to be able to do her classes well, Lord God, and that you would just um, continue to 
provide for her in this semester. And I pray for Atta Rachel's NCLEX exam, God. Um, we lift up Atta Rachel in the season of studying, God. We pray that as she studies, that you would just give her rest, um, that you would give her peace of mind, God. I know that taking exams are, are really hard and it creates anxiety in our lives. And so I just pray that you would her that you would give her peace in the season, God, and that she she would pass the exam with flying colors and that um and in her passing that she would praise you and, and no matter what may happen that she continues to praise you, Lord. Um and we we thank you for her life and for her leadership. And we just continue to lift up this um this prayer in our hearts. And um, last, I pray for uh, Pastor Bong for um, his work, uh, that you would keep him safe at all times um, and uh, that you would um, provide a new business venture, Lord, for him and that would allow him to um, have more time and more rest, Lord God, for his family and for him to have a more time and space to serve you deeper, Lord God. And we just lift up all of these prayers that has been said or has not been said that's in the hearts of this of our of your people god and and we thank you because you continue to seek us um, so we'll be going to our popcorn prayers so anybody who would like to pray can go ahead lord we come to you tonight and we want to lift up to you the leadership of our church Early on this year, we pray for your hands to just be upon each and every one. Lord, especially for our senior pastor, that you will continue to guide him in everything that he'll going to do. Lord, we pray that your spirit will continue to guide him and direct him, Lord, for your kingdom. Panginoon, salamat din po sa mga fathers, for all the fathers in our church, that you will keep them strong in their faith and their walk with you. Continue to be with them, Lord. Need to bless the works of their hands, Lord. Be able to provide for the needs of the family and even for the wives and mothers that may be able, oh God, to be supportive to our husbands and Lord, be able, oh God, to do and really accomplish, Lord, the things that you want, that you want us to be, um, to be able, uh, that you want us to do, oh God, in, in the home and wherever you are bringing us into. Lord, may we be a light and salt, oh Lord God, to those people around, especially to our kids. And Father, just um, be really trans, uh, to be to be transformed, oh God, in your image, so that Lord God, um, will be um a light and salt, panginoon sa loob ng aming mga tahanan and. Panginoon, maraming salamat po sa bawat isa. And we pray for our kids that you will always protect them, that you will always guide them, and they would be able, oh God, to have a kingdom mindset that they will always uh, trust in you in, in everything that they do. Panginoon, help them, oh God, to just really have that faith in you. Panginoon, continue to fill our, our lives with the power of the Holy Spirit, oh God. Samahan mo kami in our journey for this 2024 and we want to honor you and we want to thank you for indeed, God, you have helped us to, to overcome the hurdles of 2023. Lord, we declare that this 2024, we will be victorious as you open doors for us, oh God. You will help us to to overcome fear, you will help us, oh God, to to overcome prayerlessness. You will help us to overcome undisciplined mind. Lord, we want to just commit our lives to you and every family in our church. We 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 we, we declare God that uh, we will be blessed this coming 2023 and help us, oh God, to just really be uh, in alignment with you. That our minds and our hearts, oh God, will always be focused on you. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Father God, uh, itinatas pa namin sa inyo si Maureen Tamayo, yung kanyang prayer request na, na nagpamamogram po siya kanina na maging maganda yung result po na kanyang mamogram at walang makitang hindi maganda God. And pati na rin po yung kanyang health God at may um ano lugar na maging maayos yung kanilang health na yung kanilang hemoglobin is uh, mag-normalize na lahat ng yung kanilang blood god in Jesus we pray amen
Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this night, uh, for this opportunity, Lord God, na ginadar mo po ang Panginoon to meditate upon your word. Lord God, we include ano well in this, in this prayer, Lord God, na sana po i-grant na po yung request niya na magkaroon siya ng um, Sunday off, Lord God. Lord, um, tipuin mo po, Panginoon, yung puso na kanyang employer, Lord God, na sana po marinig niya at maintindihan, Lord God, na maibigay po sa kanya, Lord God, yung yung kanyang nire-request po, Lord. Lord, we know, Lord God, na yung desire ni Noel na um, makapag-worship uh, Save every Sunday, and um, I pray, Lord God, and we pray, Lord God, na sana po, Lord God, um, I grant po po panginoon yan, Lord God, at ah, uh, ikaw po, Lord, ang um, mag um uh, answer sa kanyang prayer, Lord God, because you know his heart, Lord God, that he wants to serve you, Lord. This is all we pray in Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Praise God. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Tonight as we, Lord God, end our prayer for this year, we're passing in prayer for our first day. Father God, truly indeed, may we learn to rest in your presence, in your love, Father God. And truly, we are not gods. We are human and we are subject to Weary, worry, and destruction. And may we, Father God, learn how to, Father God, uh, wonder and in your marvelous work. Truly, really indeed, you, you give us that day, oh Lord God, for us to rest. Even you are Father God, as you have created the world, you rested on that seventh day. And we need really, oh Lord God, that rest. Rest that comes from you. And Father, as we close, we just want to remember Israel, as you have said, every time that we are in prayer, remember for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, we choose tonight, before we close this uh, prayer meeting or our prayer and fasting, your people, that they will experience, oh God, your rest in their heart. And as well, those people who are displaced because of this war and those who are victims, even the children who have no idea or about this kind of problem that they are experiencing. May the peace of Yeshua, the Messiah, Lord God, uh, overcome, Father God, or rule in their hearts. They may come to know you that you are Jesus, the Messiah, the Savior that they are looking for. The one who promised not only the land that they are looking for, that the promised Messiah, their Savior, that they may found in you. So salamat po, Panginoon. Pagpalain mo ang bansang Israel. And whatever the things that is uh, happening surrounding us, May we not lose focus on you, Father God, the one who gives complete rest. As we retire tonight, may you, Lord God, rest your blessing upon your children who trust in you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. 
May the love of God, the true rest, rest in us tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Buksan na po ang ating mga pintana for our first picture. Amen. Okay. At the door. Good to set the Janine. Kaya niyo ba magbukas ng pintana? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay too. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Smile. Okay, one more. One, two, three. Smile. It's <laughs> the Evan's peep. <laughs> Evan, good evening. Hi, Evan. Evan. Good night, po. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Good, good, good night. Good night.